into the world of amazing prehistoric animals. Hey, Henry! Coming through, coming through! Hey, out of my way, Slowpoke! Have some respect, Henry. That tortoise is a very ancient animal. You're telling me? Hey, make way for the younger generation! No! I mean that some animals, like tortoises, have been around since prehistoric times. Prehistoric? Yeah, you know, before history, a time when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Excuse me, are you telling me this guy's a dinosaur? Well, kind of. But dinosaurs are big and scary. I've seen scarier things than him in my breakfast cereal. Not all dinosaurs were big and scary, Henry. Some were almost as small as you. They were? Hey, this I gotta see. Uh, Henry? Henry? Uh, the dinosaurs have been dead for millions of years. How do you think you're going to actually see them? In my time machine, of course. <laughs> It'll never work. Oh, yeah, Clever Clogs? See you later. I, I mean, earlier. Henry? Henry! Wait for me! Whoa! What an amazing ride! Hey, wait a minute. It can't be working. These aren't dinosaurs! Well, by my calculations, we're millions of years back in time. But, but, aren't all these animals alive today? Uh, I mean, in the future? Uh, I mean... Ah, but some of them were also around before the dinosaurs. Wow, that is ancient. There have been some changes, though. Like what? Well, some prehistoric crocodiles grew up to 60 feet long. Excuse me! That's bigger than most whales! Yeah, but crocs don't get that big anymore. Phew! Back to the harmless old tortoise. He may be old, but he's not as harmless as you'd think, Henry. Wow! They're just like Japanese wrestlers! Sumo! Sumo! Hmm, I guess they are. And just like wrestlers, these guys have to rely on skill as well as weight. So, when it comes to a tortoise battle, if they have the right moves, even the little guys can win. Yay for the little guys! That shows you, you bully! You need some fresh air. Why don't you take a walk around? <laughs> Yuck! What a slime fest! Where am I? You're in a prehistoric forest, Henry. I've never seen trees like this. These are tree ferns. They made up the world's first ever forests. But you know, you can still find a few of them around today. Wow! They must be almost as old as you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Henry. You're welcome. <laughs> what was that? It was just a dragonfly, Henry. But it was giant. Many ancient insects look a lot like those we see today, but much bigger. Just how do you know these things? Whoa, before you answer that, uh, you wouldn't have any bug spray on you. No. Look, Henry, we know these ancient insects were real because some of them got trapped in the sticky sap of trees. The sap eventually hardened into amber, preserving their bodies right up till today. Excuse me, that's amazing. But uh, they couldn't have been too smart. I mean, getting stuck in tree sap? <laughs> oh, no, Henry. Look out. Whoa! Come on, we're out of here! But don't you want to see the animals that lived in the ancient forests? Uh, 
It's spooky. Uh-oh, more dragonflies! Apart from having a wingspan the same size as a pigeon's back then, dragonflies have stayed pretty much unchanged throughout millions and millions of years. Whoa, they are ancient. Lots of other amazing insects have been around that long, too. And that was years before the dinosaurs even existed. Yeah, that reminds me. Where are the dinosaurs? Like I said, they don't exist yet. But here's one of their ancestors. What, that icky bug? Uh, no, not him. Uh, what's that? It's a young salamander. Salamander, eh? Well, he sure has got some mouth on him. But come on, he's no T-Rex. I mean, what's he doing underwater? That's where life originated, Henry. At one time, animals like this salamander were the most advanced creatures on Earth. They even had special gills to help them breathe underwater. I wouldn't want to have silly-looking gills all my life. Ah, but they don't have them all their life. Salamanders lose their gills when they become adults. That's kind of careless. <laughs> Henry, they stop using gills because they move on to land and breathe fresh air instead. You know, leaving the water was an incredibly important moment. Sure, one small step for a salamander, one giant slimy leap for salamander kind. I'm serious. Animals like these were the ancestors of many of the animals on Earth today. Pretty amazing, huh, Henry? Henry? Hey, Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about what happened to the dinosaurs. Oh, right. Here goes. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the dinosaurs ruled the Earth. But then suddenly, the Earth's climate changed, and it got way too cold for dinosaurs. How am I doing so far? So far, so good, Henry. Really? Oh, right. Well, the dinosaurs were so cold that one day they all had a big meeting and decided that it was time to go find some sun. So they all grew wings, turned into dragons, and flew south for the winter. Uh, are you sure about this, Henry? Sure, I'm sure. Anyway, the dinosaurs, who were now dragons, all flew to a tropical island where the sun shone all year round. After they'd had a bit of a holiday, got some cans, read all their books, and sent all their postcards home, they started to settle down and built houses, shops, and movie theaters and stuff. But soon they ran out of money, so they built a dragon theme park where all the dragons could bring their kids to fight knights in shining armor and turn damsels into toast and stuff. But then humans came along and built their own theme parks, and Dragon World went bankrupt. I mean, belly up. So the dragons had no money to buy food and stereos and stuff, and so they all died out. That's what really happened to the dinosaurs. And that's straight from the lizard's mouth. So, did I get an A or what? Definitely an or what, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Okay, okay, you were almost right. I was? Yes, you see, there are some tropical islands where you can still find dragons. Wow! With disgusting, fiery breath thick, impenetrable scales for protection, and a heavy tail, just right for whipping at an enemy. Oh no! Here it comes! Ah! But it's not a real dragon. It's actually a giant monitor lizard called a Komodo dragon. It sure looks like a dragon. Early explorers thought so too. That's how these lizards got their name. Some people even thought they were living dinosaurs. And are they? No, Henry. But at up to 14 feet long, Komodo dragons may be the biggest lizards in the world. But that's all they are, lizards. Not dinosaurs and definitely not dragons. So they don't eat knights in armor then? No, just deer and goats, though they have been known to eat people. Indigestion City. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so where are we now? We've traveled to the Age of Reptiles. Where did that music come from? You know, all that time travel makes a lizard thirsty. Hey, waiter, there's a salamander in my water. Wait a minute, they're not reptiles. You're right, Henry. They're amphibians, the first animals to leave the water and spend part of their lives on land. They were the ancestors of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, yeah, right. Yes, dinosaurs. Dinosaur! Henry, dinosaur! Where? Behind you! Huh? It was behind you, Henry. Oh, right. Like, I'm gonna fall for that one. Ah! Don't worry, Henry. It was only a bearded lizard. Well, it looked like a dinosaur. That's because lizards are reptiles. They're kind of a descendant of the dinosaur. But of course, this fellow would know all about dinosaurs. He was around at exactly the same time they were. Huh? What fellow? Ah! Don't worry, Henry. He can't see you if you stay still. If you think I'm staying still with him around, you're crazier than I thought! Whoa! You know, Henry, I can understand how you might think that lizards could be mini-dinosaurs. 